Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 756. Pioneer announced a speaker system called the XWNAC1. Yes, it's an iPod dock, but what's different about it is that it can hold two iPods or iPhones. And say you have most of your music on your iPod and you have some podcasts and Pandora on your iPhone. Come home from work, drop both your iPod and iPhone on the dock to charge, continue to listen to that podcast you didn't finish on the ride home, then effortlessly switch over to some music to wind down while you cook dinner. You'll only be able to do this if you live in Japan at the moment, and it'll cost you $320. Sony unveiled a couple great looking cameras, the Nex3 and the Nex5. Both of them have pretty small bodies and interchangeable lenses, and it gives them a distinctive look. They're both 14 megapixels with an APS-C CMOS sensor. They both have a 3-inch LCD display for viewing your shots, but it's not a touchscreen. It does, however, swivel in some cool directions so you can see however you decide to shoot. Both have the Sony E-Series lens mount. Now, the Nex3 shoots 720p and the Nex5 shoots 1080. There's some disputing information on whether that's 1080i or 1080p. If that gets cleared up before this gets posted, I'll leave a comment on the website. The lens that comes with them, or at least the Nex3, is an alpha 18 to 55 millimeter with an f-stop 3.5 to 5.6. There will also be a 16mm and an 18 to 200mm lens available. On this video, they show its performance. They promise good results even in low light. I've always been a big advocate of businesses using Twitter. In fact, I often speak to businesses and show them how to use social media successfully. I know a lot of you run businesses, big and small, so this is something you should definitely take advantage of as soon as you can. Twitter is releasing their Business Center option to account slowly at first, but it'll roll out to everyone eventually. If you're a business, you can claim it in settings, add a verified account tag, add a little customization, and have access to options to help you better reach your customers. You'll also be able to add multiple contributors and receive DMs from your customers even if you are not following them. That in itself is huge. Look out for the option in your account soon. Researchers are making some big moves forward in the area of molecular computing. They've proved that one molecule can run calculations thousands of times faster than the computers we use today. They used an iodine molecule to calculate a discrete Fourier transform. It's an algorithm they commonly use to analyze signals. It's not ready to come out of the lab, unfortunately. They say manipulating the molecule is a complex endeavor, and they're not sure how they would use this research in products we know now as computers. So, this leads me to wonder, will this be the start of a new type of computing device altogether? I hope so. Thanks for watching and thanks for using my discount code at aclens.com where you can save lots of money on contact lenses and glasses. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye!